I like I like OF a lot. Um, I enjoy posting myself. It's fun. I like talking to fans, but um, I am stepping back from doing uh, porn. Yeah. I've decided. So what, what shifted? What changed? Over the past few months, I've gotten, I've become really unhappy uh, and regretting certain decisions that I've made. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like regretting just like making that kind of content or like just um there's like there's so many different factors the first one is my parents my parents it took a while for them to be proud of me they i don't think they like what i do well, duh. and that's like hard not being able to talk to them about like my career i i yeah it makes sense i can yeah. see i personally wouldn't want my child to get in into work yeah i've been blessed i haven't had too many bad experiences working with other people but i think that's a rarity i think a lot of girls in the industry do have bad experiences and so that's why i wouldn't want my child to become yeah. involved with it I, you smart i don't have sex in my free life but like in, like in my like actual day-to-day -day life or anything. really like with normal people now any sex oh. that i have is on camera and it's not that much like people it's weird because the internet thinks that i'm like crazy and i'm out like fuck everyone but i really don't have sex that often at all yeah unless you're you're I, at this performing mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and i don't that's the thing i don't want it to be like that anymore because yeah. i think i lost track of like sex is special and i want to be able to experience that again yeah the intimacy in it mm -hmm. and not yeah. just like the performance of it yeah just being bombarded the bigger and bigger i get the more hate i receive and that's like really gets to me and has yeah. been really getting to me the past few months and also i think i've just become i've become really desensitized to sex and relationship it's a lot of different things it's worrying about who will take me serious is a big thing the quality of men that are like into me has gone down because like they don't want to be seen with a girl that's on the internet having sex yeah. So that's been hard. Do you think they're wrong for that or does that make sense no, to you? I don't think they're wrong at all. I don't think yeah. there's anything wrong with not wanting to be with someone that has done porn. Yeah. I think that's like, that's completely understandable. Yeah. So I don't blame anyone else but myself. Yeah. I mean, shit, yeah. That's, yeah. I've had other conversations for sure that definitely went in a different direction where it's like, you should just accept it, you know? No. But I'm realistic. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, you should take me just as serious. Like, I understand why it would put people off. Like I fully understand. Yeah. Deciding to quit porn was is probably the biggest thing because it's yeah. just not what I'm passionate about at this point. I just don't want to be known for it anymore, I guess. I don't want like that to be my whole personality. Creating stuff and building a fan base and an audience off of something else, like whether it's like YouTube or Twitch. I have a kid. Now that I have my kid, I might be this whole, I'm a boss bitch, da, da, da. but deep down in my heart, I would do absolutely anything to be at home and be like always with my child. But unfortunately, like he's right. And that shit's hard. Like, unfortunately, since I'm by myself, I got to hustle, you know, yep. but I would do anything to have a man. Oh, damn. I wasted 10 years on feminism and woke culture. And there was aspects of, you know, you can be independent. You don't need a man and all yep. of that new york woke bullshit that, yeah. that really happens when did you realize that it was a lie honestly um probably like a year ago a year ago that's that's the problem what, you know? what made you like realize and it's 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 interesting like i started really listening to andrew tate's like long form okay. content yeah nice and understanding truly what he meant yeah and it really changed everything for me okay. and how i viewed men and women and relationships and oh my god wow my mom raised me to go you know never cook for any man huh? you're gonna be successful you're not gonna have kids until you're in your 30s or 40s you're always gonna take care of yourself first because this is what she wanted for herself your mom's a hoe right and she filled me with all of this and i was like this is what i want i am not gonna cook for any man i'm gonna be a feminist i'm gonna and it wasn't really what i wanted I didn't want, to, I mean, it's so fucking hard, right? In this like Me Too movement, whatever. But like, I don't want to be equal, the same as my man. I think that there is a man and there is a woman. And I think that's okay. We don't do the same things and we don't serve the same function in a household. But I didn't really know myself well enough to know that I 
and much more traditional, I realized, than, than I, I wanted to be cooler than I am. It's a mistake. I lived quite a feminist lifestyle for quite some time. What do you mean you lived a feminist lifestyle? Uh, I'm independent financially and all of those things. And I kind of pursued my career for a really long time. I pursued my academics for a really long time. I really appreciate all of that. I think as you get older, you realize how unfulfilling all of those things are. And when you're sold that dream for a really long time, you're so convinced that that can't wait. And you're so convinced that marriage, kids, and becoming all of those things that are more traditional can wait. And really, biologically, it's the other way around. It's bad! What is your opinion on modern day feminism? Because I think it is one of the most harmful things to women. Also, how do we combat that along with harmful views on men? We're teaching our men to not be masculine. And I'm not a big fan of feminism in any form. You know, I, I think that feminism from the very beginning was anti-family. But even the early feminists, if you look at the things they were saying about the family, they were not big fans of it. And they saw it as a patriarchal, oppressive institution. And so I, I think feminism has, from the very beginning, been an attack on the family. And it's just that as it has lingered on, like a cancer, the cancer has spread and gotten more malignant. And so that's what we're experiencing today. There are some feminists, I think a small minority, who are realizing that all, all the trans stuff and the gender theory stuff is completely undermining everything they've worked for for the past hundred years, even though most of what they worked for is pretty terrible in and of itself. If I were to look for like one bright spot, it, it might be there. Um, but I just don't know if... Those feminists tend to be shouted down and, and ripped to shreds pretty quickly. So you know, I just wanted to end on some kind of positive note. That's as far as I could get. She says, Patrick, this is very hard for me to say this. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you why it's very hard. I said, what's that? She says, ever since in high school, I wanted to prove to men that I can beat them. So when I graduated high school and college, I opened up my salon. We do very well. I've made millions of dollars. My people and my work uh, that, that work at the salon, they do very well for themselves. I drive a nice car. I have a nice house. I have money. I have millions. I don't worry about any of that stuff. You know what decision I made last night? I said, what's that? She says, I want a husband. I no longer want to compete with men. I need them. And I'm like, what? She's saying this in front of 2,000 people with her sister sitting right next to her. And now she's getting emotional. How many 65-year-old women do we have to hear saying that I march with the feminist movement and I bought into the fact that men are the enemy. I've never been married. I'm alone and I'm miserable and I wish I would have never bought into that philosophy. And this is why all the single masculine women that are in their 40s are mad. Because they didn't keep the guy that really wanted to marry them back then. They were too busy trying to be in the streets. And now look at them, 40 angry miserable and masculine you chose wrong blame yourself not me <laughs>